Let's move on to discuss blockchain in Ukraine and learn more about the ecosystem there. What is the Web3 ecosystem like in Ukraine before the war began as well as today? And what kind of crypto adoption have you observed and are aware of in Ukraine? First of all, uh, of course, uh, donations, uh, like crypto donations, it was it's really a, a huge thing that helped us to survive uh, first months. And uh, thank you for the whole world who was donating to Ukraine, especially in crypto. Um, second is that uh, uh, crypto became uh, cash in Ukraine. So right now, for example, if you are, if you want to, um, by USDT, you have to pay 1.03 USD cash in Ukraine. So USD cash worth less than USDT in Ukraine. And obviously people were like when they were running from the country or they were running from, I don't know, from their homes, uh, which were under bombs, obviously they were desperately searching the way how they can uh, convert uh, cash into crypto because if you like those first days there were so many cases when people uh, had cash with them and they were just killed immediately um, so so people from from this from the start of the war with the people learned what is usdt and learned how to use it uh, uh, if we talk about ecosystem of crypto people, like there are a lot of uh, engineers in Ukraine who, who are building biggest protocols you cannot even uh, know. And uh, a lot of those teams are still there in Ukraine. A lot of teams uh, have moved and more like the, the majority of people moved to Portugal, by the way. And... Uh, uh, we have pretty strong community here, and uh, a lot of founders are living here. Uh, but uh, in terms of that, crypto is uh, somehow uh, that we have uh, some innovative legislation in Ukraine for crypto. No, we don't. We'll lose this opportunity. We, uh, the the government, decided not to adopt anything and to wait for European Union uh, decision, which I think is, a, is very stupid. Uh, if we have uh, some nice government projects that is utilizing blockchain uh, technology, no, unfortunately we also don't have it. 